Hello everyone, my name is Blue Raven 666 and today I will be offering a few pieces of advice to anyone that is interested in starting their own YouTube channel or to anyone who has already started and isn't quite sure where they want to take it. A few of you have asked me in the past to make a video like this and since this channel is about to reach its first 10,000 subscriber milestone, I figured I would share some of the things that the past five years of making videos and being a YouTuber has taught me. My first piece of advice is make your channel what you want it to be. When you first start on YouTube, you are presented with a blank canvas, a clean slate, a realm of infinite possibilities. A mistake that I feel like a lot of people make is falling back on what everyone else is doing on YouTube. Reaction videos, let's plays, vlogs, etc. And while there's nothing wrong with making videos like that, a lot of other people do it and have been doing it for a lot longer. So unless you're able to bring something unique and different to that niche, it can be very hard for you to stand out on this platform. Because you're given a clean slate when you start a YouTube channel, try to make it something you're extremely passionate about. The description of my YouTube channel literally says, this channel is basically a has-been hotel fanfiction on crack. And that's what I'm passionate about. Has-been hotel and letting my imagination run wild. My next piece of advice kind of follows the same principle. Make videos that you would want to watch. I've given this piece of advice to other creators in the past, and quite a few of them come back at me with a that's easier said than done philosophy. They've gotten themselves wrapped up in this trap of I need to put out a video no matter what it's about. Here's the thing. Watch a handful of my videos and you can tell which topics were ones that I wanted to talk about and which topics I did for the sake of putting out a video. Or a topic that I felt I could add some real insight to versus a topic that people nagged and nagged and nagged at me to cover and I just wanted it to be done and over with. When I'm genuinely passionate about a video I make, it shows. The same goes with any other YouTuber. Make videos that you could watch over and over and over again and never get bored of. When you're genuinely interested in a topic and love what you're doing, your audience will see that and some might even respect you more for it. This next piece of advice should go without saying. Respect your fans. Yes, you are the YouTuber. You are the creator. You are the entertainer. But remember that it's a give and a take. A YouTuber without fans can't really grow. Your fans deserve just as much credit for the growth and success of your channel as you are by posting videos. I love each and every one of my fans. Every like, every comment, and every subscriber means a lot to me. I mean, I never thought I would get 50 subscribers, let alone THIS! My fans are my drive to keep on creating. They're the whole reason I was able to monetize my channel to begin with. They are the ones that keep on helping me reach the next milestone, and no matter how big this channel gets, that is a fact that I will never forget. All right, I want you to look at this. Look at this. Okay, you see this? Yeah. Numbers don't mean anything. When you go to your YouTube studio app, you're given all these numbers and graphs and God only knows what else is going on here. And people begin to panic when they see the numbers drop. Listen, there are only a few numbers you should really be concerned about. A video's views, likes, and subscriber count. So long as those numbers keep on going up, you're fine. Seeing this red arrow might make you think that something is wrong, but it just means that things are a little bit slower than they have been the past 28 days. 
Just as well, don't get hung up on a small number of dislikes, especially if the number of likes is overwhelmingly higher. Chances are those dislikes are either bots or trolls, and they don't mean anything. My next piece of advice is probably the most important. Be patient. I didn't just get 10,000 subscribers overnight. I've been making videos since the summer of 2015. That's five years. And I didn't start seeing any real growth until around five months ago. Unless you do something that's really unique or spectacular or just downright crazy, you're not gonna get thousands of subs in a day or a week or maybe even a month. It can take years for your channel to take off. But once it does, it's the most incredible feeling you will ever experience in your life. Patience doesn't just apply to the growth of your channel, either. You also have to be patient with the comments people leave on your videos. I'm lucky to be someone that has the patience of a mountain and be able to keep myself from giving in to any knee-jerk reactions to hate comments or comments that I might find just a bit stupid. The people that comment on your videos don't possess all of the knowledge and experience you have accumulated yourself. Some people might even know more than you do and drop knowledge that you didn't know before. And that's alright. You're going to get every type of comment under the sun as a YouTuber. Love, hate, criticism, trolls, bad English. It just comes with the territory, and it's something you're just gonna have to get used to. And if you can't handle that, then I'd highly recommend reconsider pursuing YouTube as a potential career. My last piece of advice for you is just have fun. I love what I do, and I'm excited to see where this path takes me. There are days where being a YouTuber and making videos does feel like a job, but the times when I have fun with a topic or a video or learn something new or reach another milestone really makes up for it. Being a YouTuber is a lot of work, and you don't get anywhere by doing nothing. But so long as you're enjoying what you're doing overall, nothing else matters, and everything else will come with time. That's all I have for this video, you guys. Thank you for watching. I should also bring up one more piece of advice that I forgot to mention. Don't quit your day job if you have one. Even though my channel is monetized, I still don't make enough money from it to do this as a full-time job and I would hate to have anyone get themselves into a bad situation because they quit their job as soon as they got their channel monetized and now they're facing eviction or something equally as terrible. It takes time to get to that point. If there's anything you feel like I missed, leave it in the comments. Maybe I'll make a part two if there's enough for me to cover, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye